Yo, what is up? So, uh, first of all, I have figured it out. So, I know how to get FSR4 into Withering Waves now. And I don't know how I thought of it, but I just thought, well, I literally, I did have a think. So, I had a bit more time today. And uh, I did look at the files and I realised there wasn't actually anything in there for NVIDIA where the shipping file is located. So where you install OptiScaler, there's not much there. And then I, I just thought, well, I couldn't find it anywhere else. So I, I don't know if it installs files for NVIDIA, a specific files for them. And if you've got an AMD GPU, it doesn't install those files. Anyway, that's what I was thinking. So what I'm doing here is uh, I will actually add the files in the description what you need. But you need to download... NVIDIA's DLSS and their frame generation file and then you just place those two files where the shipping file is again I don't know, I don't know how I thought of it but, um, <laughs> uh, but I usually figure it out in the end uh, but um, so basically that's what I've done I've just added the two files because I thought well maybe that is why frame generation isn't working and why DLSS isn't being detected by OptiScale. And another thing I've done is I, I did actually read this bit. I looked this up that you should really be using winmm.ll instead of what one. So you have the second option, so press two first when you're installing OptiScale and just install it the normal way and like pick AMD one and then use DLSS one. So in the end, I mean, what well, as I said, this won't be a waste of time. It 100% it works. So as long as you install it exactly how I'm doing it in this video, it will work. And I didn't get any messages. Uh, but again, because the message I saw where someone had a message that they could potentially be banned, it was DXGI, which is the normal way of installing OptiScaler. You end it with that file. Uh, but I've used winmm.dol before and uh, for certain games it does work so it is a bypass for the game not to detect it so you should be safe a lot safer with that and so as soon as I've done I mean I loaded it up and then uh, got the menu up and as you can see now the option is coming up how it should because it can actually detect the fault so so it got it, it was bringing the OSS up, but it just couldn't detect it. And yeah, and frame generation even works as well. So, so that is the way to do it. Uh, so I had a bit, I, I did have a bit more time to have more of, of a, literally have more of a think of it. Um, so it literally works how it usually does in other games now. Uh, this is the latest pre-13 up to scale I'm using as well so that works uh, I didn't bother to wait I know the ray tracing works um, another thing is uh, there is I've noticed this in quite a few games with uh, FSR you want to turn that motion blur off because there is ghosting so um, as you can see here uh, so not that anyone likes motion blur anyway so I would literally turn that off and then the ghosting disappears I mean that is one one of the worst options in gaming that for me motion blur. It was bad enough that it was giving more blur. Now it actually gives ghosting. I've noticed with FSR four, so I, I would literally just turn it off. Then happy days. It looks pretty much perfect. So I just locked it to sixty just to see. Although I could have done hundred and twenty, but it would have gone over my refresh rate. But either way, it works. Frame generation. To... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. Uh... So I'll have to try that. Give it a good, good go now. Get into the game. But again, I don't know if there's going to be any crashes or anything. But it's to it seems totally safe to install it. So that was my main mission in this game. Uh, so that is why FSR four. Or any options weren't coming up because it you needed to insert them files. So I downloaded them from Tech Power Up, or you can just use the links in the description. 
So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.